These guys in front of me right here are the Armani Pour Homme collection. If you ever wondered what they smell like, then you are a lot like me. I've seen them at the stores and then the online retailers and always wondered, what do they smell like? So the only reasonable thing to do was go ahead and buy all of them for us to explore. So let's look at them together. Who knows? They might surprise us. In all honesty, I did have the Oper Om from 2013 already. This one right here. I would have loved to find the original release from 1984. However, that wasn't really in the cards, at least not for me and for the prices that people were asking for the original 1984, maybe in the future. I do have the 2013 release, which is not quite as complex as the original in the note breakdown. The 1984 formulation had notes of carnation, lavender, there was some jasmine, rose and cinnamon in there where in the 2013 release, this one right here, they have omitted these notes and added notes of clove. Online, however, it does seem like this re-release does smell very, very close to the original. If you have the original and you know, then please do let me know in the comments. I would like to hear your personal opinion on that. The 2013 Operum is marked as a fresh, spicy citrus with a warm and woody nuance. I personally find that this one right here reminds me of Aqua de Parma fragrances a little bit. And with a touch of barbershop, you know, along the lines of Dior Eau Sauvage, for instance, and of course, a little bit of Aqua de Parma. Along that line, it doesn't smell exactly like it, but it is sort of an Aqua de Parma mixed with Eau Sauvage, which is actually very nice and refreshing. As the fragrance dries down, some of the spiciness from the cloves, surrounded by sort of a synthetic oak moss, appears. Operum is a masculine scent with moderate longevity and protection. Not terrible, but not good, sort of right in the middle. It's a classic and clean gentleman's fragrance anytime that you feel like you want a little bit of a barbershop from the 80s. And that's Armani. Operum from 2013. Also in 2013, Armani released Eau de Nuit or Water of the Night, which is this one right here. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. This is an evening fragrance and in my opinion was ahead of its time in 2013. I just bought this one in Europe after smelling it at a fragrance boutique and I just bought it straight there. For me, it fits perfectly into the world of these popular iris fragrances. Eau de Nuit is a beautiful vanilla iris with a sense of powdery spice. It is beautiful. There's a little bit of a heliotrope listed in this one, which gives it a touch of old school, which I actually quite like. It's a beautiful scent. Absolutely gorgeous. The spiciness in this fragrance comes from the cardamom and the nutmeg. Eau de Nuit has a slightly better performance than the original Pour Homme, since you're going to have some amber and tonka bean in the base of this fragrance. If you like fragrances like Bulgari Man in Black and Prada Luna Rossa Black, take the soft and powderiness of this one and the scent DNA of this one and kind of combine them and then amp up the iris, you can kind of imagine what the Armani Eau de Nuit smells like. This one for me is super easy to wear, day or night, uh, since I find it to be a little bit more on the lighter side of evening fragrances, if you will. This would be a great time for you to hit the like or maybe even subscribe to Centrail if you're having fun at all. Remember, our fragrance journey begins with but one single scent. In 2014, Water de Aromas or Eau de Arome was released from the line. This time it is going to be a citrus with some spice. It's a warm citrus with some spice. Eau de Arome is a beautiful, soft, earthy feeling fragrance with a little bit of patchouli surrounded by a mandarin orange. The pop of spice in this fragrance right here is going to be from the cardamom and ginger. Now, once I sprayed this one, instantly reminded me of a fragrance by Hermes, and it is Eau de Merveille. Although the Armani is not quite as complex as the Eau de Merveille, and the Armani is a touch more masculine than the Eau de Merveille, since this one is really 100% unisex, 
and much, much, much denser. I also find that there's a slight nuance in this one, in the Armani, a slight aquatic nuance, which actually is quite beautiful. But upon the first spray, it immediately reminded me of the Hermes. Eau de Rome is a perfect sort of Armani for a gentleman who liked Eau de Merveille, but thought it was just a little bit too thick and too feminine. That's where this one comes in. It's a perfect choice if those were your thoughts. Cedar is up next. Water of Cedar or Eau de Cedre launched in 2015. The Eau de Cedar is probably my favorite along the line with the Eau de Noe, at least at this point. I'm not 100% sure because there's still one that I don't have that I'm missing and that is the 2016 Eau de Noe Oud. I've looked just everywhere for this one and I can't seem to find it at a decent price. It is supposed to smell along the lines of John Varvato's Oud, which actually I quite like, which I'm sure I'll find it at some point, just not yet. Until then, I'm going to keep on looking. But for now, this one and the Eau de Nuit are my two favorites, Eau de Cedre. It's a beautiful, beautiful cedar wood fragrance that is green and leathery. The leather comes from a suede, and to be a little bit more specific, there are also notes of black tea, violet leaf, and the popular notes of sage in this one. Eau de Cedre is a mellow and refined fragrance. It's masculine and it's mature without being dated at all. Also, this Armani cedar and tea fragrance, really, with a touch of suede, is super easy to wear with just the right amount of spice to keep it interesting. Beautiful fragrance. I just love wearing this one. It is super, super easy. Absolutely gorgeous. There you have it, Armani Pur Online. I hope you had a good time. I know I did. Don't forget to like or maybe even subscribe for more fragrance content if you found this helpful. Remember, our fragrance journey begins with but one single scent. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice. And I will talk to you soon.